This video is about how to write out a probability model using maths notation. You need to know the maths notation not just because it's standard, but because it's easier to do algebra with math symbols than it is with code. And we ne always need to do algebra as the first step in setting up a machine learning model for training. Here's the example of the probability model that we saw in the first video and when we wrote it in code. And now here's the same thing, but written in the mathematical style random variable notation. I won't go through this one right now. Let's instead build up gradually and look at the way the random variable notation works. First, when you write u open bracket 0, 1, that just means the standard uniform distribution between 0 and 1, all values equally likely. The special symbol twiddles means generate or sample x from the uniform distribution. Next example. This code generates a random variable x and then it generates a random variable i. And I've written them in capital letters. That's the convention uppercase for random variables. Every time we run the code, we get a different value for x and different value for i. a and b are just plain values, so we use lowercase for those. Sometimes you see random variables wrapped up in, in functions, in, as I've done in the first two cases. And the function notation makes it clear this is a random variable and each time I run it, I'll get a different answer but it's still random even when the commands are in a script like in this example at the bottom. Next example. In this code, x1 and x2 are generated independently. Knowing the value of one gives no information about the value of the other. In the maths notation, it's usually implied that random variables are meant to be generated independently unless we explicitly state otherwise. In this code, the two values y and z are most definitely not independent. And in maths notation, you'd write it like this, yz twiddles rand pair or whatever we want to call the, the distribution. This is a random pair and when you write it like that you're just telling the reader y and z are potentially not independent. Next example, slightly tricky. In this piece of code x1 and x2 are generated independently. That's clear from the code. But if you look at it and think well, if I find out that x1 is low, probably that means the parameter high is low. So x2 is probably low also. So surely x1 and x2 are not independent. But that's not right. That's not what independence means. Independence means assuming that we know the values of all of the non-random parameters. Whenever you see the word independent, you should always stick that in sotto voce, given the values for all of the parameters. It's worth saying just one more thing about this twiddle symbols. When we write something like A twiddles B, it means A and B have the same distribution. It's not a statement about how A is generated. So for example, in this piece of code, it's perfectly legitimate to write y twiddles uniform of not one. This is the statement that y has the uniform distribution. y is equally likely to take any value in the range 0, 1. We didn't generate y by calling the uniform random number generator. The twiddles is a statement about equality of distributions. If you want to make a statement about equality of values, that's where you use the equal sign. A equals B means the value of A is always equal to the value of B. But in this code, the value of Y is always equal to the value of 1 minus X. So twiddles for distributions, equals for values. If you see a random variable 
on the right hand side of a maths expression, like in this example, what it means is generate x first and then given the value of x, use that to generate y. This will obviously produce a pair of non-independent random variables.